Tonight, as we continue to recognize Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we're sharing the story of a local mom who refuses to lose to the disease. She has beat it once and she believes she will do it again. Our sports director Chris Porter is here and Chris, she says she has a team that's on the front lines battling this cancer with her. Yeah, Anthony, 39 year old Monique Ellis is a fierce fighter already, but think about how much stronger her defense against breast cancer is with the support of her three children. One of them is a star football player over on the west side of Jacksonville. Tonight, I'm taking you to the heart of the story to show you how her only begotten son is leading the charge. Every day is, is hard. Um, and it's a blessing to still be here. Monique Ellis, mother of three, diagnosed with stage three breast cancer in 2017. She went into remission in 2018, only to have breast cancer come back in 2020. Her doctor's telling her this time it's stage four. This is my new normal. This is how I have to live the rest of my life. I just enjoy every moment I can watch my kids um, because I know that with my health, Anything can happen at any given time. Do you think about death? I do. Um, now more than ever, a lot of my family and close friends, they don't like to hear me talk about it. I even the other day just wrote my living will and my mom's like, why, why are we doing this? But it's the reality of my condition. It's the reality of what I have going on. Monique took her children to the park to share her diagnosis. Her two daughters, Audrey and Kennedy, took it hard. Her eldest and only son, Christian, did not show any emotion. Are there ever moments when you ask God, why my mom? No, oh, every day. Like, just why? Christian is a standout football player for the Ed White Commanders. Just plant, praying every night, just asking God just to help me, and just knowing when that I got to help out, I got to be a man helper with my sisters and just everything around the house because she's battling and fighting for us. Christian transferred from Trinity Christian to Ed White. He says he did it for his mom, who was a track star for the Commanders in the late 90s. Uh, battling cancer and just seeing that, I just wanted, I wanted to do something special with her, for her. So I wanted to, since she went to Edward, I wanted to just give it an opportunity to see, for her to see me and just them green and gold. Sometimes weak and not feeling well, Monique still finds the strength to make it to Christian's games. So some of the students go in, they say, oh, you know when Christian's mom is at the game. She got these big heads, she running, she screaming, jumping. Christian literally has a whole fan club in the stands. <laughs> and you're the loud? I, yeah. <laughs> yes. Just see her in the stands all happy yelling and loud. It's just been something just great to see. And I just like, I want to continue to just bless her. Are you afraid when you look at how successful he is and you understand that this is just the tip of the iceberg? Are you afraid you're going to miss something? Mm-hmm. How are you able to be so positive? My doctors are very positive and they give you hope to say that stage four has come a long, long way. Um, years ago, stage four meant your life was pretty much over. But with the way um, technology and medicine is advancing, there are people who are living for, you know, years. Christian believes that it's God's grace that allowed his mom to beat breast cancer once, and it will be that same grace that will help her do it again. Just keep fighting, stay positive, stay strong. Uh, you gonna have your doubts, but just keep fighting. Keep fighting, stay strong. And while Monique Ellis is the loudest mom at the Ed White football game, she's also a singer. As for her son, Christian, he has received offers from the likes of Mississippi State, Kansas, Coastal Carolina, Wake Forest, and Army. Christian telling me he got his athletic gene from his mom. Huh. Wow.